Well, Ballet Arizona is opening their season this weekend. How about that? Isn't that the greatest? We should go out there and work out with them. Ron, it, you we couldn't well, hang. No. Yeah. We couldn't Two do it. Two plies and we'd fall over backwards. <laughs> <laughs> we'd say, plies, don't let me do another plies. <laughs> Diane Ryan, That's is that sweet the... <laughs> yeah. Morning, guys, isn't this music just sound beautiful? This is all part of a special show that they're going to be having here at Phoenix Symphony Hall. We are standing on the stage watching these two beautiful dancers. And this is part of a, a ballet that you are having here at Phoenix Symphony Hall. Tell me a little bit about what we're watching. Well, what we're watching is the pas de deux from Act Two of the ballet Giselle. The characters are Giselle and Albrecht. And they're basically uh, dancing right now a scene to express their undying love for one another. Yes, and we're talking to Michael Panvini, and uh, you have a big uh, part uh, in this as well. You're helping to put this together. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm the director of production for Ballet Arizona, and so essentially I'm the producer. I'm responsible for all of the technical and logistical aspects. Okay, well, tell us a little bit about what the story is behind this ballet. Uh, I understand that it's a, a, a love affair at one point, and then something goes wrong. Well, in the first act, Albrecht comes into town and meets Giselle and is smitten with her. Uh, but what we come to find out is that he is also already engaged to uh, another member of the nobility. He is a member of the nobility and she is a peasant. Giselle is a peasant. Trouble already. Yeah, so he, uh, they, they get to know each other and decide they like each other. And then, of course, the rest of the nobility show up in the hunting party. And so Giselle finds out that he is already engaged and she then dies of a broken heart. That's the first act. The second act is in the graveyard with all of the willies. These are the ghosts of virgin girls who have died of broken hearts. And that's what we're seeing right now. Is this part of that? Exactly. This is the grandpa from that act. And Giselle has just become a member of the willies. And uh, she actually ends up protecting Albrecht because in the end, the willies would like to off Albrecht because they're jilted girls and they don't like men very much. Yes, I can understand that. I can totally understand that. So uh, it ends with a happy ending then. Yes, absolutely. Giselle rescues Albrecht from uh, his fate and uh, they get to have their undying love forever. But the story is a little longer than what we're talking about here on the stage. Uh, how long is it and, and what are people going to see? Well, the ballet runs just over two hours with one 20 minute intermission. And uh, they'll be, we'll see other dancers as well. Oh yes, absolutely. They'll see the entire company. It's a full corps de ballet in the first act of men and women and mostly women in the second act. And they are all dressed very similar to what Giselle is in now because they're ghosts, of course. They're ghosts. Well, they look beautiful, and of course, they're fabulous dancers. And anyone who's interested, it's going to be going on all this weekend long, and they're going to have a, a, six different shows. So if you're interested in seeing some beautiful dancers and a beautiful story, this is the place to be this weekend. Back to you. Wow, they certainly are beautiful. The dancing is just Something. beautiful. Fantastic.